Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 95. Got my coffee. Scrappy Sunday. And this is Caramel Creamer. I had the last of my pumpkin spice creamer on Thursday, so it is gone. I'm hoping that it will come back. Um, usually I have it for my birthday in August, but we'll wait and see. Today is April 4th, 2021. I almost said August. And this is a podcast mostly about knitting, sometimes crochet, sometimes cross-stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. You can find all the show notes right down there. I'll have links to where you can find me. I'm most active on Instagram. Um, I'll have links to all the links right down there. Shops, bags, yarn, all that good stuff. All right, I have three finished objects and four whips, no stash, but I was naughty. Just nothing came in the mail yet. <laughs> we'll talk about that later if I remember. What I'm reading and watching, we will go through my stash stats for March. And depending on how much time we have, I might go over what I knit in March if you guys are interested. Lots of stuff today. And it's actually warm out. I don't have sleeves on. One of my favorite shirts. That's right. Pluto is a planet. I don't know. I've had this shirt for a really long time. I don't remember where I got it. But it's my favorite. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Am I ready? Let's get started. Finish object number one. Tube socks. I'm sorry, the lighting is really weird. I waited. The, it's, of course, it's sunny, which is nice. Um, but the sun is like right here. So I might be blown out a little bit. Hopefully, as the podcast goes, it won't be as bad. But I guess that's better than dark. <gasps> Look at these. So these are tube socks, no heels. These are for my oldest for Christmas. This is Knit Picks Felici in the Windbreaker colorway. Uh, for their socks, I do 12 rows of 2 by 2 rib. I knit 120 rows and then I do the toes. And they almost match. I can do this. There's like this one has more yellow on it, but yep. So I finished these. Oh, and these the next finished object is a total surprise. I mentioned on my last episode that I'm like, I need to make shorty socks. I need to do that. I did. And I finished them. <gasps> and I am completely obsessed. So, I was playing a little bit of yarn chicken. So I'm not too keen on this and this really close together, but it's not horrible. I had, this is Night Owl Fibers, uh, Love You More. And the heels, toes, and cuffs are Lolo did it, coal miner's daughter. So I had 35 grams left of this. I stole five so I could put it in my blanket, and so I had 35 grams left. So I decided to make shorty socks. And I had enough. I had seven grams left. 
So if I would, if I did this again, I would like to do the cuff in the same stripey color and then do different for contrast for um, toes and cuffs or heels. So, and I weighed both socks and they were 43 grams. So technically I could get, if I do the same pattern, same amount of rows and everything, I should be able to do a pair of socks out of a 50 gram ball. <gasps> what? So I did 12 rows of two by two rib. Um, my leg is five rows. No, that's a lot. It's six rows. I wanted to do five rows, but each stripe landed on six rows. Row six, so that's where I changed it. Uh, let's see. And then I knit 74 rows for my foot. And then I did my toe. My heel, I usually do five rows before I do my decrease. I decided to do six, just because this part is going to get stretched a little more because there's no leg. But now I just want to knit all the shorty socks. All right, I will try one on and see if I can get my foot up here. I am sitting on the floor. So I can show you where it hits on my foot. It's like right below my ankle, my ankle bone. And you might see my hairy legs. And you might see my pajama pants. But I want to show you that they do fit. They do look really ridiculous. But they fit. I haven't like worn them all day. So I'm not sure how I, I mean, it feels fine. All right, I might get out of the picture for a minute. So yeah, here's my ankle bone. So this is where it fits. I hide my hairy legs. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's enough of that. <laughs> so yeah, I am so excited. Now I am tempted that when Knit Picks Felici comes out, they usually have value packs where you can get one of each color. Uh, one 50 gram skein. And they're supposed to be cheaper or that's a deal buying instead of buy, buying them individually so yeah this was very comical putting the heel in, in this little tiny <laughs> so yeah now I just want to knit all the scrappy socks or um shorty socks and scrappy socks scrappy shorty socks yeah so yes and it probably, let's see, I finished, I finished one on Friday and I cast on, I think it was like five o'clock-ish on Friday and I finished the next sock the next day. So I can probably knit like one sock in a day when they're shorties like this. Duh. They may look funny on my sock blockers. So I knit a pair of shorty socks, excuse me, and I love them and I want to knit more. So I have more Felici, but I have two balls of each color. So if I'm like, if I take one out of the set, what am I going to do with the other one? I don't know. Any suggestions? Should I just make one? One for me and one for somebody else. My mom, I don't think my mom likes shorty socks. Do I just knit two? Two pairs? Of the same color? I don't know. Alright, you ready for the last finished object? The massive finish object. I did it, guys. I finished my scarf. I added the fringe. I blocked it. It's massive. Oh, I 
feels so much better after I blocked it and it's not as wavy. Love it. So let's see, it's very large. I think since it's so large, I'm probably gonna have to wear it like over top of my coat. But yeah, it's it's a massive. I made this out of Cascade 220. And this was in the Harry Potter knitting book. I don't know what it's called. Knitting magic, I think it's called. And this is the Wizarding Transportation Scarf. This nine and three quarters is my favorite. So yeah, I finished it. I cast this on in February 2020 and it's now it's done. So it took me a year and a month. So I was looking back at my, I feel like I've been working on this for like two months, but once I started working on it, it only took me a month to finish this. So yeah. I love it so much. And now it's going to get hot and I can't wear it. And there's the better picture of the fringe. I did... Um, I told you to use two, 10 strands of each color for about 12 inches. I did... I still did 10 strands, but I did um, 10 inches instead of 12. I didn't really trim it, I just kind of left it. But yeah, that fringe, I thought that was going to take me forever. It took me like maybe a half hour. I just got a piece of cardboard and I just wrapped the string around it and then cut it and then just made sure I had um, 80, 80 strands of each color. It was not hard. So that is my scarf. And I'll have to wear it over top of my spring coat or my winter coat. What's going on here? I'm trying to fold it. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, it was twisted. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> all right, that is all of my finish objects for this week. Now we'll go on to whips. I got yarn on my shoulder. Whip. Whip number one. This is Bags by Awesome Granny. And this is my Desert Vista Dye Works for April. The Chocolate Zambadi Factory. Now these ones have to be longer socks because I think you have to use more than 50 grams. And the leg has to be a certain, it's in the rules. So I'm going to do a regular, um, size sock for this. Oh. So here it is. Oh, I love that rainbow. Um, I do 12 rows of 2x2 rib. These are on Chow Goo's Red Lace uh, US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter, 32 inch cord. This is just the first sock. I got 40 40 rows done. These are counting my rows, 10 rows per marker. So that when I do the second sock, they are the same. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I would love to finish these this week. But we'll see. 
I got to resist casting on more shorty socks. Must resist. So that is that whip. I'm gonna go through these fast. Sorry. This is the uh, sock parade of whips. This is three by the seas designs on Etsy. Sorry, you can hear my kids in the background. This is Nitpicks Felici Cupcake Karaoke. Yep, I bought this in summer 2020. These are going to be tube socks for my youngest for Christmas. And this is where I got so far. I believe I just had the cuff cast on last week. So I did 40-ish rows, 45-ish rows. Same thing, Chow Goose, US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter, 32 inch cord. Magic Loop, 12 rows of two by two grid. I really love this colorway. Reminds me of spring flowers. Yep. And I have the cuff cast on for the next one. So this is what I got. I would love to finish these this week too. We will see. These are usually pretty fast because there's no heel. Alright, another sip of coffee. Then we'll go to my last sock whip. I don't know if I will show this every week because this is my scrappy... My... Scrappy Sunday project. So we'll see if I show them every week. I probably will if I work on them on Sundays. I will show my progress. This is my Mario bag from Knit for Brains. And I decided these are going to be um, shorty socks. Since I just started. Alright, do I have... The cuff, heels, and toes are going to be this color. This is Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. Everyday sock base. Coal miner's daughter. I need to buy more of this because I really like that color. All right, let's see if I, I I cut the tag off of this. I thought I did. Yes, because it was on the outside of the bag. This is Lolo did it. No, it's not. This is Hugh Loco. <laughs> and her fall 2020 palette. These were minis, 20 gram minis. 75, 25 base, super wash merino and nylon. These were a gift, so I decided to put them in scrappy socks. I'll have to move my marker, but this is my marker I got from uh, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady on her Etsy shop. I think she's going to add a bunch of stuff sometime soon. I think towards the end of April 20th. I think she said. I don't know. Follow her on Instagram. So I will move that up here later. So I got a lot of markers going on. <laughs> so I got my ribbing. And this one, since I'm doing... I'm, okay, back up. I'm doing five rows of each color. So with that said, um, I want my heel, since I'm doing an afterthought cut-in heel, I want it to line in between this stripe or in between a stripe so I decided to do um, the leg nine rows this time so we're going to change it up a little um, yeah so these white ones are, are where I'm going to put my heel and these ones are where I'm counting my rows so I got about 20 rows in and here's all the 
all of the minis and they're falling out. <laughs> so I probably have enough to do. My plan was to do long, you know, a normal length sock, but I want to do a shorty sock. So that's what I'm doing. I probably got enough to do another pair. Maybe full length, probably. If I do contrasting uh, heel toes and cuffs. I'm going to weave all my ends in later. I have not done that. This might this might take a little bit longer because I'm doing five rows. I usually do ten, but I kind of like the shorter stripes. So, yay! Scrappy socks! So I am going to work on these today. Last week I didn't get a chance to work on um, my socks. I, I was bound and determined to finish that Harry or that Harry Potter scarf. So I only put like in one row last week. So this is what I got, and hopefully I will have a lot more progress because I think that's what I'm going to work on today. All right. I think that's it. The same thing for needles, US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter, 32 inch cord, check views. That's what I knit all of my socks on. All right, that is all my sock whips. Now we have one more. One more whip in this bag that I want on a giveaway. From, I think it's from Dyed in the Wool. I don't know if they sell these or, or what. I really need to work on this too. This is, but I got a lot done this week. Because I believe last week, yep, there's my marker. I was right there. I just had the cuff done, or the cuff. The collar. Oh, I separated for the sleeves. I think I have about four inches on the body. I think I have to do ten more. This is the flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. Um, this is the eight to ten year old size for my youngest. Uh, what else? Yarn. Do I have the tag in here? Wool of the Andes, Celestial, Worsted Weight. Uh, yeah. My daughter picked out this color. It's very... It's more blue. It's looking like a purple blue, but... So yeah, I split for the sleeves. I knit on the body. I'm going to... If you watched my last episode, I finished my oldest daughter's uh, sweater. And these are going to be Christmas presents. Um, I put a C on hers, so I will be doing an N on this one. And I will wait until I finish the body completely. Then it's off the needles. It's easier to um, I duplicate stitch it on there. And so once it's not on the needles and there's no sleeves, it's very... It's easier than doing it at the very end with sleeves. So. I'm blowing my face out, but And since this one is a child size, it's going so much faster. The other one I knit was uh, adult small. So I probably could have had a lot more done on this, but I got sidetracked with socks. So moving my marker. This is um, Harry Potter and his Weasley sweater. This is by Simply Serving. So yeah, nothing else. I'm using the needle size they recommend, which is um, a six for the ribbing, for the cuff, the cuffs and the collar and the, what is the bottom called? The hem? <laughs> yeah, and then the rest is on eights. So tiny. Yeah, that's it. 
I'm on my, I think this is my third ball. These are 50 gram uh, cakes. I have, it seems like whenever I make these sweaters, I always buy one extra one and I always have an extra left. I believe I bought eight. So I think it's only gonna take me seven balls. So we will wait and see. I would love to have the body done on that. I think I could do it. The body is only like a hundred and I think it's 190 stitches. The other one was like 200 some. I know my nose is itchy. So I would love to have the body done on that. If I don't get sidetracked with my socks. Which happens right all right that is all my knitting that's all my whips now we will move on to I guess I'll talk about stash real quick I don't have anything to show but I did purchase row one minis I couldn't take it anymore I needed a minis I stopped for like three months and yeah I couldn't help it so I signed up for that again. I think they're coming tomorrow. Or sometime this week. I also purchased, um, let's see, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady is doing the summer sock camp again. I'm so excited. I joined that knit along last year and I will be doing it again this year. Um, where was I going with this? Oh. Desert Vista Dye Works had some special colorways for this uh, summer sock camp. I did not purchase last year's colorway just because the time frame was very short and it was like a last minute thing that they decided to do and I was afraid that it wouldn't come in time. But um, she brought out Desert, Desert Vista Dye Works brought back last year's and she made a new colorway so I got those. They're not here yet. They're probably not coming until probably end of probably end of next month. And I bought a bag, summer sock camp bag from Stolen Minutes, which I'm really excited about. That I tried to get one of her cat bags and I got carjacked. It made me mad and sad. I don't know, I really love her bags. I have never had one, but I like the black and white striped in the inside. I love that. So when those come in my possession, I will show them. But those are the only thing that I bought. I did not buy anything else. So that is my stash. Now we will talk about, do I wanna talk about, let's talk about my stash stats for March. My nose is really itchy. I think I got wool of the Andes up my nose. <laughs> so in March, I started with 142 balls. I used seven. <gasps> I added six. So I'm one less. So I'm at 141. <laughs> Patents Croy. So I divided it into uh, categories here. Patents Croy, I have 18. Nitpicks Fleechy 38, Indie Dyed 60, is that 67? I'm reading it backwards. Um, Red Heart 7, West Yorkshire Spinners 8, and Regia 3. This is just something I'm doing on my own, trying to keep track of what's going in and what's coming out. But now that I want to knit shorty socks, I might be going through all of my scraps and not touching my full skeins. So that means I need to be good and not buy full skeins. Because <laughs> that one's just counting full skeins leaving the stash. All right, in this notebook I got from Yellow Paper House is where I'm keeping track of all of my nitty, mostly knitting. I might add some crochet projects in here, whatever I finish. Mostly knitting, just to keep track of 
what I'm knitting throughout the month. So here is a March. So I knit. So I just write um, like socks, sweater, cozy memory squares. And then I write the colorway and the needles that I use. And then I total I total it up here. So socks, I knit two for me. Nope, that's wrong. I can't read backwards. It's two for Amy, three for me, one for my daughter Chloe. So I knit six socks, six pairs of socks total. I finished a sweater, I finished the scarf, and I knit 31 squares in my Cozy Memories blanket. So I did that for each month. There's February's. So then when I, at the end of the year, I will tally up how many socks I knit, how many sweaters, scarves, and cowls, and oh, I need to write. And there's April's. I haven't wrote down uh, my shorty socks in there yet because I just finished those yesterday. But yeah, that's how I keep track of my knitting. I do some project pages, but that's only because I can't post pictures on Ravelry unless I have a project page. I can't just take a, I used to be able to take a picture on Instagram and just upload it, but they don't let you do that anymore. Ever. All right. I think that's it. Yep. All right, that's it for stash and keeping track of things and all that. So now we will go on to reading and watching. Yeah, my hair's so frizzy. I will have all of the titles and authors' names right down there. So, because sometimes I'm not going to be able to pronounce the author. <laughs> so they are all down there for you. So you can copy and paste into Google or Goodreads or wherever you like to do that. <laughs> so I finished um, The Best of Me by David Sedaris. Very good. I did audio on that. I also finished Thunderhead. This is uh, book two in the... What did I write in my show notes? I typed them up already. I didn't write it on my paper notes. I think it's The Ark of a Scythe series. So that's book two in the series. I finally finished that. That Those books are chunky. And I read that on my Kindle. That's what I read before I go to bed. So that's probably why it took me forever because a lot of times I can maybe... I try to finish at least one chapter, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes it's one page. Sometimes it's a paragraph. So it takes me a long time to get through those. Um, I am currently reading... I started The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. So far, I like that. I'm doing that on audio. And then I started The Toll, which is the third book in the side of the series that I mentioned. And that is also like 600 pages. It's going to take me a while to get through that. And that is a young adult series, the side of the series, about Grim Reapers pretty much. <laughs> they don't call them Grim Reapers, but that is what they are. And The Four Winds is a historical fiction book. I read a few books of Kristen Hanna's and I really enjoy them, so I'm looking so far so good. I can't remember the last book that I read of hers that I really, really liked. It's about a family in a forest. Or in a very, very small town. Very rustic. They didn't have electricity or indoor plumbing. I can't remember what it's called. If you know what I'm talking about, can you put it down there for me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was her last book that she wrote. I could be totally wrong. All right, watching. My husband and I have finished Battlestar Galactica Season 3. And we finished Stargate. Season 1, or Stargate SG-1, Season 2. We finished them. So now, 
we are going to start Curb Your Enthusiasm, season 10, I believe. I love that show, and I was, we watched season 1 through 9, and we figured that that was it, but I guess like maybe two or three late, two or three years later, he just, Larry David decided to put out another season, and so, oh, I'm so excited. That is a show, I'm sure, it's been out a long time, I'm sure people have watched it. It's a very, it's not a kid show, it is definitely M.A. But I like his, he puts himself in these awkward situations all the time. But I don't know, I just like it. It's very good. I'm also still watching Walking Dead. I believe the last episode of the series is on tonight. And then I have to wait till 2022 for the last and final season. Which makes me sad. But that's okay. It is what it is. I guess I can rewatch it, right? Jammy pants. You already see my jammy pants. <laughs> Oh, I'm just looking at my fleecy and how I want to knit all the shorty socks out of them. Except for there's there's a purple pair there. Those are gonna be for my oldest for another socks for her for Christmas. So I need to out of this I need to pick out one more pair for my youngest. So they both have two. Excuse me. So they both have two pairs of socks. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like if I just do one ball for one pair of socks, what am I going to do with the other one? What am I going to do with the other ball? Hmm. I'll figure something out. Do you have any suggestions on what I would do with the second ball? Just make another pair of socks? Uh, it seems kind of silly to have two pairs of the same color, but. All right, we will go into life stuff. Sidetracked, I get a squirrel moment. I'm just staring at my yarn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that big hole right there. <laughs> nope. Do not buy yarn, Lisa. Do not. Unless it's Felici. If Felici comes out, you can buy some of that. <laughs> um, Life stuff. Not that much going on. Same old, same old. It's starting to get warmer. And I'm all for that. I checked the weather this morning, and I'm pretty sure Tuesday or Wednesday, it's supposed to get to 79? I'm like, is that right? That can't be right. At any rate, it is like going to be in the mid-60s pretty much all week. Probably going to get lots of rain, but I'm, I'm all for the warmer temperatures. I don't like, borderline 80 is too hot for me. Anything above 80 is too hot. <laughs> I like 75, 77. That's it. I don't want any, I don't want it any hotter than that, but that's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, my plans, my knitting plans for today. I'm going to work on the scrappy socks. I might work on the Felici socks. I might work on those two today. And starting tomorrow, I need to work on that sweater. I need to do like I did with my scarf and do like an hour, put on a podcast, knit until the podcast is done, and then pick up something else. And I need to fin my, finish my Desert Vista Dye Works. Those are my plans for this week and today. Finish the Desert Vista Dye Works socks and finish the body on that sweater. Anything else is bonus. <laughs> yeah. I need to finish two socks before I can cast on another pair of shorty socks. 
that's what my plans are because I I had like at one point I had four socks on the needles and I was like I was starting to get overwhelmed a little <laughs> so I need to finish a couple pairs before I cast on a new pair I also need to cast on my Harry Potter sock for the month I'm kind of conflicted I was gonna do full length scrappy socks out of my advent calendar that I got last year from Bobo B. Acres. But now a part of me wants to, I have a 50 gram skein of mustache yarn, Harry Potter yarn. I traded a half with somebody, with Amy. So I have that, so I'm like, do I make shorty socks for my Harry Potter socks for this month? Or do I do what I wanted and do the uh, scrappy socks? What do you think? Scrappy socks? Shorty socks? I don't know yet. I'm not going to cast those on until I finish at least those two socks. So, I got some time. So let me know. What do you think? Should I do scrappy socks or shorty socks? Alright, I will wrap it up. I got 41 minutes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down there in the comment box. I do read them. And, oh, I forgot to say, Happy Easter. <laughs> I didn't even know, I didn't realize it was Easter. Just It totally just went over my head. I don't, we don't really celebrate Easter here. I don't do the, find the Easter eggs. I just, I don't, I'm not into, I'm not into that. Happy Easter. We're staying home. Not going to my grandma's. Though my grandma and my grandma, my grandma and my grandpa both had their second shot last week. The 25th. Yes, that's last week. And my parents both, both got their second shot yesterday. So things are looking up. I am still, I feel like I need to get on some list. I am not on a list right now. I feel like I don't want to be I'm waiting till the time frame that it's open for everybody because I don't want to steal one from somebody else. From somebody that's older than me. So I need to get on a list. I need to do that. Alright. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All that jazz. <laughs> And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.